Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very odd view. Today's video is going to be an organizational video. I am going to show you guys three different ways to organize your makeup. They're kind of the same way. I shouldn't say they're different ways, but they're different based on how much makeup you have. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get into the video. In the first way we're gonna organize, it's going to be the most makeup, and that would be what I have. And I would not even say I have a huge amount of makeup. I have, for a YouTuber, I have pretty small amount because I just don't have the room to carry a whole bunch of makeup. But for the most part, most people do not carry this amount of makeup, except my daughter. She carries a huge amount of makeup. But, oh my hair. Can you tell, I'm trying to figure out curling it. Do you guys like this? Let me know if you like it. I do like it, but it does this and it gets in my way and then I do this and uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm trying some new styles and I might just end up doing that to get it out of my face because I hate it in my face. Okay, I totally digressed. So we're gonna start with the largest amount of makeup and then we're gonna go to a person who has a medium amount of makeup, just like a couple drawers full, and then a minimal makeup. Very little would just, most people probably have this. So, all right, let's get into it. I'm going to show you my philosophy and it's kind of a new philosophy. I've tried it for a while now and I love this concept and i'm sure this is not new i'm sure you can find people who have organized their makeup in this way but it has really transformed how fast i can do my makeup what you want to do is organize it in the order that you put your makeup on and so you just either work down the drawers or work down the line so i'm going to show you what i do first and work my way around basically my face okay i thought i would step back just so you guys can see my setup from a farther away from a farther hope from farther away oh my goodness obviously most people would not have a ring light and things like that but first of all let me show you i have just a desk from ikea those these are not the alex drawers i honestly don't remember the name i'll have to show you over there are my empties <laughs> so that's on that side and then over here is the alex drawers and most people would not have that but I have that a lot of it because I'm a youtuber, but it's not all makeup by any stretch There's a lot of other stuff in there, but I'll show you my my process What I do is I start over here and I work my way down the first one is actually this drawer I pull it out and this is my primers So all kinds of primers all different types the kind I'm using the most is in the front and I you know the ones that I've kind of given up on or I might be decluttering or in the back. These are all different kinds of eye primers. So that's all that kind of stuff. So this is entire drawer is different primers. So first thing that goes on my face, obviously this is after skincare. The next drawer will be foundations. Obviously that goes on after primers. So favorite foundations are in the front. Well, in the side, and actually they're all really some of my favorite foundations. There's some BB creams here. I love those, both of those. And then in the back, let me pull this out, are ones that I'm currently not using. Jerry's still out. I might declutter those. I don't know. And on the side is more like some ones that I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I like this. Do you guys like this one? I think it looks glittery on my face and I hate that. So not sure about that one. Okay, so BB cream, some of these things I use only in the summer, and so I'm not currently using them, so they're in there, but all my foundations are in here except for two, and I'll get to that in just a second. After foundations, then we have concealers. So all my different concealers are all in here. You know, the ones I use the most and some of the ones that I'm currently not really using. After concealers, I do some setting. So my setting powders, I don't have a ton. I only have a couple. And those are all right there with my little poof, puff, whatever you call that. After I do my setting, I do my eyebrows. So the ones that I use the most are all in here. I love all of these products. 
in the back here, let me pull this out, are other things of eyebrow things that I've used, but I'm not currently using, but they're there if I need to get them. The next thing is eyes. Anything to do with eyes. You know me, I don't use a lot of eyeshadows, but apparently I have a lot. I don't know why. And then mascara. I'm trying this again. I kind of got away from using it. I used it this morning. I actually like it, so I'll see. But it's the only kind of mascaras that I'm using right now. So the next two drawers are not makeup. They're my backup drawer and some other stuff. But let me turn you around. Now I'm sitting at my desk and the next thing would be the first drawer and hopefully this is light enough oh good there it goes light enough next thing would be anything that i put around my face so i have bronzers i currently only have three bronzers these are for kind of contouring or bronzers and then these are my current blushes that i have i'm really into these two right now under here is my setting sprays so all the different kinds of setting sprays you guys know from one of my last ones i'm loving this morphe but i also love this cover girl dewy finish love that and then the last drawer is lips because that would be the last thing that goes on my face so pencils i really don't have a lot for some reason i collect lip stuff i don't know why and i've even decluttered some of this and i think i need to declutter more but that would be my last thing that goes on my face and I'm done. Let me show you what's here on my tabletop. First of all, there's two foundations and that's just because I'm trying them. I just got them. In case you're wondering, this mirror and lights, I did a video, oh, I don't know how long ago. It was Christmas, not this last one, but the one before that. My husband did this for me. This is all like piece together. It's literally up there by Velcro. I know that Amaze is amazing, but it is, it's up there by Velcro. I could take this thing down and put it someplace else. So I'm loving this thing. But I should tell you, I will put that right <laughs> here. It will tell you that will put that um, video so you guys can see. This is weird doing this backwards. Okay, I have all my brushes and I divide it out by big brushes and small brushes and then I just have this one kabuki kind of brush from e.l.f. And it sits on a tray just to make it look a little bit prettier. I used to have it divided out where I only had my favorite ones, but I actually like being able to pick through. If one's dirty, I'll choose another one. I don't know. Back here are those, the Q-tips that are made for makeup removal. I love these because how um, stiff they are. They're great. I've told you guys about them before. Love these. This is the MUA's makeup remover pen. I don't use it a lot, but I like it to be there. Over here is just a couple more palettes. I don't like having palettes flat in my drawer so these are here i do use this one quite a bit but i use this a lot for my eyeshadow actually because it's a really good color obviously you can see i've used it a lot but the other one's not so much but i don't like them being in a drawer so i put them here and of course the emily edit i love that palette although i only use a couple things then i have an spf that i love I think I've talked about this quite a while ago, but I still use it. These are, hello, these are two editions. I love these things. These are from Real Techniques and they hold my sponges and they're just on by, you know, like glue, um, sticky stuff. And so my two sponges sit up here and I don't have to worry. Those are the ones I'm currently using. And then over here is just a little jar that holds extra ones just make sure if you're going to do this that they are completely dry or they will get moldy and that would be gross so don't put them in wet but those are my backups when those get dirty then i use these so i just like them being there i can't keep them out because my cats get them they've literally taken them out i've actually think they took them out of this one up here and brought it to me downstairs where I was watching TV. I was so angry. <laughs> so I need to keep them up. They don't tend to notice them if they're up here. As you can see guys, what I did was I worked my way around, started over here, and then worked my way and did the drawers down there. 
So. All right, on to if I had a medium amount of makeup, how I would organize it. It's the same concept, working the order of how you do your face, but I'm gonna do it on a much smaller scale. So we would not use these at all for any makeup. This would just be either gone or full of something else in my life. It would be the top here would start out with primers, of course, and I would use a moisturizing primer, a pore filling kind of primer, and I have a couple that I like. This is a more um, affordable version, and then some kind of illuminating. Then I would choose two different kinds of foundations, a low end or not low, more drugstore, and I always use two different colors. You guys know this, I've said this a couple times in my videos. I use one that's the color of my skin, close to my skin and one that's darker to cover up redness. And then I would have a higher end version, unless I absolutely love this. This is my absolute favorite. You guys know this, the CC cream. I love it. It's perfect for my dry skin, but it's higher end. And so I don't like to use it every day. This would be my choice for every day. And this is a physician's formula, the healthy foundation. Love this. So two of those. Then we would go to concealers. I don't use a ton of concealer, but if I do, I use, I like the Fit Me. This is a, a lighter one for under my eyes, and then a darker one, again, to cover up redness, because you guys know I have rosacea. Then I also love this. This is the e.l.f. And in, in the peach, this covers up blueness or darkness underneath my eyes really well. Love this and it's so affordable. And then if I have a very distinct blemish or something that I need to get rid of, I like the NARS. And then once I did my concealer, of course, I would set my makeup. You guys know I like the Laura Mercier for under my eyes and I love the Becca. Hydra Mist, love this. And then I just have a poof. That would be for the face. The next drawer would be for my brows. After I did my brows, I would do my eyes if I was going to do eyeshadow. Sometimes I only use the paint pot. This is Camel Coat from MAC. Sometimes this is just all over my eye and that's all I do just to even out the skin color. Then I would go ahead and put on bronzer so this is my favorite and obviously i need to get more i have hit pan many many times over then i would do blush and if i'm going to do cream i'm going to do these i said that before but then i would have other ones here la girl those things so i would pare it down to that and then the last drawer i do have two palettes in here it just wouldn't fit in here the right way because it needs to like lay flatter because the drawer is not that deep so these two i would keep in here then i would hit my face with some setting spray i would have a normal everyday one and then i would have an illuminating one if i wanted it after i set my makeup sometimes i put mascara on first and then spray and then i you know either or it depends on if i remember but i would do my my eyes mascara then the last thing would be lipstick and what I would do is pair, I have two different kinds, I know it looks like more, but it is really two different kinds. It's two that are not, that are like more every day and then one that's a little bit right, redder or more pink for like an evening look. And then these are lip glosses that go with the two. So Buxom is my absolute favorite, I love how those feel. And then lip liners to match it. I would pare this down to two of each kind. Again, this is the medium amount of makeup. Two of each kind, so two kinds of fluffy brushes. Two for putting um, like bronzer on or something like that. Two blush brushes, things like that. So that would be two of everything and two of everything here. Okay, on to if I was a minimalist and was just a typical person and had, you know, one, maybe two of things, this is what I would do to organize that kind of makeup. It would all fit in here. I, I, I assume. I have not done this <laughs> amount of makeup in a long time. But everything would be in one drawer. My primer and then I would choose one foundation that I loved and just stick with it. I don't think I would have two. 
I would have, again, a hydrating primer and a pore filling primer. That's it. I would have concealer, one for blue and one for under my eyes, and then one just for blemishes. I would have one kind of bronzer, one blush, one powder, and I would choose this one if I was only choosing one. I would have one kind of eyeshadow, pal eyeshadow palette that would do it all, so this would be my choice. I would have the bare minimum for eyebrows. I would have a pencil to fill in. I love this tattoo one that gives you the little brow-like hairs on the center, you know, in the middle of my eyebrows, the beginning, and I would have some kind of powder to fill in when I needed, and then just one to hold it in. Let's just face it, when you're plus 50, you need some help with your eyebrows. You're gonna have more than one product. So this would hold them all in place. Just one mascara and a eyelash curler. And then lastly, I would have probably, I'd probably have a couple lipsticks. I would have a dark one and a light one. These are my light ones. I would probably have these in my purse, let's be honest. And it would all fit in one drawer. Up here, it would be one of each kind of brush that I would use. I would have the setting spray up here, just grab it and go. And then I would have my sponges here and that would be it that's all i'd have so guys i hope that was helpful to you if it was please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel and i will see you in the next video god bless